Hey guys, Aaron from the Boss 140 here with you for a deck profile on the deck I ran at Locals today. I was testing it out, trying to see something different from my scraps. But scraps are still good, scraps are still better. Oh, that's what most of my friends think anyway, but I really like this deck today. Um, I went 3 1. Yeah, so I think it was 3 1. Um, so yeah, I'll get on with the deck. It was machine gadgets or machine gadgets, however it said. So I played three fortress, just so I could either draw it or have like never run out of targets with gear frame because I never did run out of targets with gear frame today, so that was always good. Um, yeah. Next I played three machine gear frame. Or Machina Gear Frame, however you say it. Um, I would say it's the M. It was, it was good today. It was really good. It was just the fact that it's a beat stick as well, a normal sun beat stick. I love the artwork. Really good card. Search is your fortress. Search is the card you need for fortress. It makes without this, I would say the deck wouldn't really function. But it's not the. It wasn't the MVP today, but it's very good. Um, I played two machine cannon or machine cannon. Um, this is just simply for when fortress is in the grave, so you can't get away with just discarding like, a gadget or something. And you need, and you don't want to discard two cards, obviously, because that'll be um, whether it's worth it. So I played two cannon. It worked out really well today. I had it when I needed it because it was searchable, so it didn't really need to play more at all. And now I played um, two green gadget. Uh, two red gadget, and yes, all my gadgets are ultras because I'm good at this game, right? No, I'm really bad at this game, but I'm um, rarity hog like that. And two yellow gadget. Gadgets worked out really good today. They set up a lot of your plays. They make the deck a lot more consistent. They make Trigodia good without having to main deck Maxi. Um, they make Gigag and X a lot more live. They open up a lot more plays. It makes you be able to justify playing things like Call of the Haunted, a lot of good stuff like that. So yeah, gadgets worked out good today. Um, apart from the game like that, I lost because I drew into two yellow, two green gadget and one yellow gadget first turn. Like that's how it opened, so that was pretty bad. How lost that came. It was still a two-one match, but yeah, it was really hard to come back from that. And then up for like hand traps of two two effect Valor. Just because for those random times where like, they're trying to go off and you can just say no to that. And single handedly, like the MVP of the day is Trigodia. This card oh my god, this card is so good today. Like actually it was so good. Like in the tournament report I'll do afterwards, I'll explain why this card was so good. Because it was just so trolly, but it was so good as well. It opened up so many XC plays. It was unbelievable. Took control of the monsters. I oh, just made everything so much good, better. And like when you drop this card, if the deck is running, like if they haven't got a skill drain or something, and the deck's been running good, when you drop him, he will be like 24-3k 20, most of the time if you're playing the deck right. So like. If they run over a gadget with Thunder King, you can just like drop this, and that can be an out to Thunder King when this deck doesn't have a lot of them. So, but that's not why this. Well, that is why this card was good. But um, I'll get like why it was so funny today. But no, he was definitely the MVP. Um, that's 18 monsters <coughs> onto the spells. Two part of duality for that extra bit of consistency, and it gives you a hand choice, which is always good. Like even if you've got to play. You can always do this, and I, I, this is called. Um, I, I like signing out because game two, if you play this, and then there's always that off chance that they'll see what you're signing against them. So it's, it was something to sign out, which was good because there's not a lot you can sign out in this deck, especially in the monsters like Valor. That's about it. Um, to MST, this um. I'm so unhappy that I can't play this card at 3. Like, it's not like semi limited or anything, you can play 3, but I despise playing 
40, more than 40 cards in the deck. So I can I only played two because I didn't have enough space. So I was testing some of the stuff, which worked out really good. I think two MC was enough because in my side deck I've got more back or hate. So this was enough in the main deck. I saw it when I needed it. But I just prefer playing three because you can be a bit more. You don't have to be as conservative, but with them. But with that two, I had to be quite conservative with them. Um. Two Forbidden Lance. Um, this card was really good today. It was good against most of my matchups, if not all of them. Um, it's it's really versatile because you can play this aggressively, like you can attack into the monster and then lance their monster, so it loses the attack. Or you can play it defensively to stop like certain players, and it works really well with the next card I want to talk about. It's Limited Removal because one of my my favourite play probably today well not like besides the one that was with Trigodia was limited removing limited removal and then got, making a big push and if I didn't have a gear frame or something um I would <coughs> lance my monster if I only had one in the field or lance my important monster and then so it wouldn't die at the end phase but I still got to do a lot of damage so Lance was really good today. This card, this was um, yeah, this was probably the second best spell card in the deck today. The best was probably Lance. And this was this was very good today. <coughs> <coughs> then on to the Sable Julie. It's Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Heavy Storm, Port of Avarice. Um, um, my control. That's it for the spells. I played 12 of them. Oh god, I really talk too much in these videos. Um, on to the traps. Um, I, I really base this deck around, like, having good field presence at most of the time. So that'll, hopefully that'll justify a lot of my trap going up. 2D prison. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Um, two compulse because there's a lot of XE heavy decks this format. Um, but if not, this card just works really well. It's another out to Thunder King. It's an out to a lot of things. I really like it. Um, two call of the haunted. I saw like some people play this in Ganges. So I wanted to test it. Um, worked out really well. Opened up a lot more XE plays. A lot more safety plays. Um, this card is very good. I'm definitely going to be keeping this card in. It works really well. And then the Warning Brigade, two Solemn Warning, one Solemn Judgment, and then Ultimate Offering. Now, because this is Kajit, right? Now, I have to admit, I started the day hating this card, and then I grew to love this card. This card is so good in gadgets. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, onto the side deck. I played two Cyber Dragons. Didn't side it in March, but it's there for like gear gear machines, gadget, like mirror match and stuff like that. Um, two Spirit Reaper, just to stun certain decks that are faster than this deck. It helps buy time to set up. And plus, I kind of threw my side deck together this morning when I found out I was entering as well. Um, two Sermonita. Uh, this was two max E today. I borrowed a second, but yeah, just I only have one myself. Um, third MST, two bottomless. Um, two dust tornado. And mine crush. Two of them. Um, on to the extra. I played one Chimera tech because the um, the Cyber Dragon's in the side deck. Scrap Dragon because I do run tuners so I thought I'll play them because I thought she was level 7. Um, Stardust. Black Rose because I play 
um, because because I play mind control and monster evil, and so I thought, why not? Um, <laughs> yeah, blank sleeve. I borrowed a catastrophe today, as well, because all my most my normal like monsters that I play are level four, so they learn that. Catastrophe was good today. Um, number eleven, big eye. This card was very good today. I didn't go it probably as much as I should have. Because I wanted to like drop well, my sure move and try and go for game, but this card was very, very good today. I wouldn't play the deck without it like, ever. One gem like pearl. One utopia. One shock master. Good card. Um. Two gig icon X. This card. This was the best X U for me today. This one I went into most often. It was very good. Um, it searches get like you can if you don't draw a gear frame, you can be like gadget into gadget because you're gonna have one or the other like 90% of the time. Because yeah, you, there's like what's that? Six, oh, it's nine total cards that in your deck, which is almost a quarter. So yeah, and then you go gadget into gadget, and then make this, and then you can draw your search your gear frame, and then go from there. This card was very very good today. There's, I can see now, having played it, why it's so expensive. So yeah. Um. My sh um, photon pack operative. This was good today. I to be I actually went into um every card in my extra deck today, except for Chimera Tech, Fortress Dragon, Stardust, and Abyss Dweller. So yeah, that's good. Uh, my stroke, the Symphony Jin, and I borrowed an Abyss Dweller. Well, no, I didn't borrow an Abyss Dweller. I had an Abyss Dweller. I used it, and now I'm lending it to someone. So yeah. Um, that was it from after the tournament report. I think it, I either went three one or two two. I can't remember. But what was greedy? Um, I faced Malefics, which is pretty weird. Um. My locals was really weird today because a lot of the normal players were um, at the older shot regional, so there's pretty there wasn't that many normal people there. Well, not normal people, I say local. I should say local people because none, none of us are normal. Um, I faced Beast Stun, which was really awkward because they had skill drain in the main deck, and this deck cannot do like cannot cope with skill drain. I faced Malefics, which was really funny because what I did was. Oh, it was I don't know, flipping hilarious. They attacked into my fortress with a Malefic Cyber and Dragon. So, okay, okay, drop Trag. Next turn, draw into Trag. So I'm like, okay, look at their card, it's level 10. So I use Trag Effect, discard Trag. Discard the second copy of Trigodia. Take control of their Malefic Cyber end. And then drop Limiter Removal because it's a machine and go for game. And it was, oh, it was so good. This card. Um, I faced Gladiator Beasts, which was really funny because two of them were that much. Two of my ethics as well. Um, and then I went up against Beast Dunn, like I say, and Anti Matter, which is really annoying because they main deck skill drain as well, and this deck just can't cope with it at all. But yeah, um, that was it today. It was really good. I know. I just missed out on top four by like tie breaks and stuff. So this deck's fun. It's really competitive. I would say, I th I think it's it's better than my scraps, or it would be. But I'm still getting to grips on how to play it. So like with scraps, I know them inside and out. So that would be the main reason why if I didn't do as well. But it was a really good deck. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, like, and subscribe. Bye.